Today we're going to go over a couple of LED modules, uh, these two by Whirlpool. On the side-by-side, uh, -side, you'll see them in the fresh fruit compartment up top and in the uh, crisper area as well as in the freezer. This is the AC-DC module. You'll see there's mo more components on the back side of the board and it takes 120 volts and then puts out the DC voltage for the other two uh, LED boards. I'm going to show you how to test those out today. This is a partial schematic of the three LED boards. On the left hand side you see the uh, voltage regulator circuit. That's on the AC-DC board as well as the top four LEDs. And then it goes to the next four LEDs and that's on the 57 board. And then the last four LEDs are also on the next 57 board. So you can see the problem if you disconnect any one of these then voltage uh, is not supplied to the others as well because it's a complete circuit through all three boards. I'm going to show you how to test them out with a power supply. You can take a power supply that's kind of lying around the house or you can uh, buy a power supply for about 50 bucks. It has a current limiter on it. That's what I recommend just in case you, um, you know, touch the leads together. Uh, it won't short out. And I'm going to also put a link down below uh, how to make your own uh, needle point testers by Dennis Verick. I'm using my Rigel power supply. I'm putting 12 volts on it and you can see it's drawing about just a little over 100 milliamps. You want to make sure that the positive is on the left hand side towards the edge and the negative is on the right. And definitely don't touch the meter leads together because you'll get a little spark. With the 58, it's a little different since it's the main HCDC power board as well as the uh, LEDs. We need a load to put on the output uh, so it'll complete the circuit. So what I did is I looked around the shop just see what I could find to, to make a load for it. And I came up with a 250 ohm uh, resistor. These are two 500 in parallel, so that makes 250. So I calculated that 250 volts at 5 watts and you're good to go. Put these alligator leads on there and there you have it. There's our load. So what you need to do is put it on the output of the AC-DC board. Power is not connected right now. You notice that I put the alligator leads uh, on the outside um, of the connector. It's just because they won't fit um, on the inside. And also make sure that they won't touch and that you won't short out the board. So I'll put all the relevant links down in the description uh, for the resistor. Uh, you can order it on Mauser, or uh, Digikey, or wherever. As well as for the power supply, the alligator leads, and Dennis Vierick's site where you can make your own test probe. Alright, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.